What are you getting at, Griffin? That's right. You're gonna start doing a lot of stuff for me. Like what? Well, for starters, you got more than one limo? Yeah. You and me are gonna do a limo joust. What the hell is that? All right, you ready? I don't want to do this. Go! <laughs> That went exactly as I wanted it to go. All right, here's your Mike and Ikes with all the Ikes taken out. I hope you were careful, because I swear to God, if I find one Ike in there, I am going straight to Babs. It's fine, I double-checked. Here's your Mike's. What's next? Next, I want you to fly to France and tell French people that a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. <clears throat> people of France! A good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. And your sirens sound like gay guys having a threesome. All right, you got my catchphrases for me? I just want you to know this was a huge pain in the ass. Peter's New Catchphrases by Carter Pewterschmidt. Title's all business. I like that. Also, I've been under the weather lately, so it may not be my best work. Shape up or show me your balls. <laughs> That's good. Well, really? What, uh, how about this one? In your face, Nancy Grace. Oh, I love it. Oh, man, there are a lot of good ones here. Fire alarm? I am the fire alarm. Find your own beach house, Krabby. Put that in your office and frame it. Yeah, last one's kind of lame. Did you get down to the one at the bottom there? Which one? On your mark, get set. Terrible. Oh, this one here. If you got a problem, take it up with my butt. He's the only one that gives a crap. Oh, my God. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's the one. I thought that's, you, like... you, you, you were oh. amazing. Take it up with my butt, because he's the only one who gives a crap. Wow, what a great sentence. You know, Lois, I've noticed Peter and Carter spending a lot of time together lately. It's nice to see them finally getting on. I know. Who would have thought, huh? Boy, I can't wait to get this home. You know, I keep not laughing at the Big Bang Theory, and I figure it's got to be the television. You know, TV this size, forget it. It'll have me laugh until I got snats falling out of my nose. Cara, where are you taking our television? I'm giving it to Peter. What? Why? Yeah, why, Kaida? <sighs> because Peter is the best, and he is awesome, and he makes better laser sounds than I do. Pew, pew, pew. Goddamn right. You hear that, Lois? And he's not just saying that because I covered for him about his affair. <laughs> what? Carter, is this true? Yes, it's true. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> well, on your mark, get set, terrible. <laughs> no, no, but I, I understand that this is bad. You stupid fat bastard! How could you tell her I had an affair? We had a deal! Look, I, I think you're blowing this out of proportion, Carter. She's divorcing me! Well, I don't blame her. Daddy, how could you do this to Mom? You two were perfect together. It was such a close marriage. You know, maybe the two of you splitting up is a blessing in disguise. I mean, there are obviously some problems in your relationship. Who knows? Maybe some time apart could be just what you need. Yeah, plus think of all the fun stuff you can do as a single guy. Like like, like going to loud, awful bars and not being able to hear the mediocre-looking chick next to you say something stupid. Ah, it's going to be awesome. I don't know how to do anything like that. It's easy. I'll help you meet some women, Mr. Peter Schmidt. Come on, it's been 50 years since I've been on a date. Well, how'd you get that chick on a boat, then? You know how in that movie Liam Neeson gets his daughter back? Yeah. Well, that was one of the girls their dad didn't get back. What kind of joint is this? Where's the cigarette girl? Yeah, they don't have those anymore. Peter, I don't know about this. I, I haven't even had normal sexual relations in a long time. With Babs, I usually finish in my hand and just throw it at her. Look, relax, will ya? Here, I got these off a website that tells you good things to say when hot women walk by. Ooh, here comes a hot one. Say the first thing on the list. Um, I, I love getting trendy cupcakes in the middle of the day for no reason. No way, so do I. Hi, I'm Paula. Carter, how do you do? Hey, why don't you and your friend come join us over at our table? Mm, Peter Griffin, how do you do? <laughs> we, we, would, we would love to. Hey, girls. These are my two new friends. Hello, ladies. My name is Carter, and I require a tremendous amount of calcium. Carter, come here. Sit next to me. 